Hello everyone, I'm Ashutosh, this is Karanji, this is Rashi, and we here at Fundamental Research Group have built this platform for collaborating communities. So uh, the idea of working together to achieve something is great. And to achieve this greatness, we have built a simplistic platform with uh, extremely powerful features to enhance collaboration. This platform can be used by integrating a lot of other softwares which can be of immense value. So uh, we have used a Drupal 7 uh, over here, not Drupal 8 again. I'll give you the reason why, because we have a lot of components which cannot be implemented in Drupal 8 right now, because it's new. I'll explain when that comes. Can we realize Drupal 8? You know, we worked uh, like around that two to three weeks. No, I'll tell you the reason why two to three weeks we worked on Drupal 8, but the system demanded some reputation model and a lot of other features which cannot be implemented right now because we have to start from scratch and creating a module will again become like an entire project. So you prefer? We prefer Drupal 8. System which will be thrown. Why should it be thrown? We have made a project. So Drupal 8 is what, what NVLI is going on. No, but the features they demanded you cannot implement right now in Drupal 8. Fine, so you will write something which will not be used at all. But we can replicate that in Drupal 8. Drupal 7 and 8. I am very upset that in NVLI your parent is going Drupal 8, you choose to go Drupal 7. Okay, see, one thing, one thing I will tell you because I get upset. Not, not against you or anybody else. Okay, I personally get upset if anybody, anybody in the world, any software programmer in the world changes requirement because he cannot do something. A software programmer is master of that stupid machine. He has to do everything that is required by the user. If NVLI wants Drupal 8, Drupal 8 it is. If I was handling the group, hang everything. You have to do Drupal 8. Okay. Doesn't matter. That is your call. I am not uh, doing, that, doing it against that. But this argument I don't like. Okay. It could not be implemented in Drupal 8. I don't care. The requirement of collaborative communities is an NVLI requirement. It is supposed to be used, okay. If NVLA is going Drupal 8, it has to be implemented Drupal 8, it's simple. And it is not only you people. Talk to my team, how many times I have shouted at them. I don't negotiate requirements. Talk to Aparna, I don't negotiate requirements. You have negotiated requirements, both you and the other team. That's why I get upset, okay. Go ahead, Drupal 7, what do you At least you look, uh, uh, presentation looks very nice. These are the major components we have uh, implemented in the course of time. So we'll be explaining this one by one. So uh, this is the basic content publishing workflow. Uh, the, we have created uh, three roles in the workflow, which is the author, editor, reviewer, and a few states, which I'll be explaining how it works. This is the author. So what an author can do, he can create content, and he's supposed to send it to the editor for uh, editing. The editor checks it. If he approves the uh, content, he sends it to the publisher. And the publisher or the reviewer uh, publishes the content. If the editor does. Uh, if the editor rejects it, it sends back to the author, the author makes changes, uh, sends it to the editor, editor sends it to the publisher, and the content gets published. So this is the basic workflow. Now what we have done is we have uh, put this basic workflow in every community, and how the community works, Rashi will just explain it. Communities was a very important part of our project because we had to group content. So this communities provide a very useful a platform for grouping content, and then it allows users with similar interests to work together. So community has different role. Initially, when someone logs in our system, so at that time, he's not member of any community. Then once he's a member, then there are different levels. Like he can be a community author, community editor, community reviewer, or community admin. And then the community has different features. Like once uh, you enter into a community, then you can see what members are there in the community, and all the published contents of the community, and uh, other members and own contents as well. And all the community articles also go through a similar workflow as explained before. Uh, content versioning, now we know that a, sim a simple content may go through various revisions. So we have stored the content versions and this also helps like when someone is editing the content, he can compare to the previous revision. Uh, so and also one important thing we have done is that uh, we are also displaying the differences between the two revisions. Now currently only the moderation actions were changed so uh, we can also know that who changed it and uh, what were the changes made. So this Drupal is showing, right? Yeah. We would like to go to your contribution directly rather than no, showing all Drupal. Drupal was a very basic layout. We have uh, installed a few uh, other plugins to show, make it like GitHub. So the plugins are also third party plugin or yeah. you have written? No, it's third, third party, party but it requires. So we will were more interested in seeing your contribution. No, but actually, if we want to implement this, if we just write code from the 
you can right. go directly we understand everything this 80% or 90% of the thing very yeah. well being done by the media wiki i don't know why go to with the drupal which is not expert of crowdsourcing crowdsourcing is very well being handled by media wiki uh, wikipedia is the best example of this so but anyway we want to see your work so uh, the reputation model here helps a user gain more responsibility in the workflow a user starts as a normal user with just read access he cannot create content he goes up the ladder as a author and editor and a reviewer you gain points by the content you publish you gain points by upvotes downvotes and you can see the transaction of all your points you can see your collected points the quiz system is also another way to gain more point currently only the admin can no no, no. no sir you written your own quiz yes we can uh, give you quiz statistics okay. and data. Quiz actually is a different thing because we, uh, there might be a new user who is an experienced one, but he need not go through the reputation model from the beginning. Make Gain points from the he quiz and the then. Quiz and if he passes the quiz, he will give him a lot of points so that he directly becomes the reviewer or the author. So this is the quiz interface. So, so basically, your quiz okay, has some sort of decision making done at the end. Yes. Okay. He starts with a user, he becomes a reviewer, editor, depending on the, on the yes, quiz. Yes. It's yes. fine. So we also have a tagging feature where we use, uh, currently we are using word co-occurrence co statistical algorithm which is better than TF-IDF scores. Uh, so we suggest two kinds of tags, implicit and explicit. So implicit tags are derived from the content. They give you, they are ranked according to highest chi-square values. The explicit tag, the learned tags are the tags which the user has used a lot. And we also give you the most popular tags, the most popular tags the system has. So it will help you. Again, you are using some software, no? To yeah, but, but here ready. we are using ML Tank, which is a relatively new software. We have actually implemented stuff here. We have edited a lot of stuff with this one. you are using somebody, somebody else's work? Yeah, it's Concentrate a... Concentrate on what you have done. Yeah, but we did write code uh, here. We did okay, edit. Chota code lika chalega. So the search feature is, again, Apache Solar Search. Uh, we use Apache Solar Search along with, we can also search ac across at attachments. So if you have attached PDF, we search that also. By the way, if you had implemented something which takes your automatic tag tagging system or your suggestion, okay, and written some suggestions which actually go into the database directly. Yeah, they, we usually select, you so click the checkbox. Without check having anybody select anything okay Unsupervised. then i would have appreciated it because that is what is going to happen in nvli we can actually the nvli collaborative committee uh, community will not start this is india nobody is interested in collaborating and okay let me do take some 10 and tags okay so it's much better if you have some automated system which does the tagging yes, and a can. few people who are paid okay to act as editors and publishers is so we can actually choose i would have, i would appreciate that but yeah, that's okay go we can actually choose to just automatically use the yeah, highest automatic. ranks and uh, attach it to the yeah. component yeah. we wanted for more supervised tagging uh, thing the search feature also works on attachments the next is the uh, translation so as we are working for the national virtual library of india so having different languages was, was very important and that is why we have local support for indian languages and we have implemented like 15 languages I would have appreciated if you had written the languages in the original script. Uh, so here for every specific content, we have something called a translation. Now it was the Hindi version, so it's written Anuvad there. In the slide you can see there. So for every content, you also have the available languages. Like this is the list of languages. And for, for this example, USB-C, we have the content in uh, English and Hindi. So you can see there that uh, the content is there and you can edit it. While as in other languages, it is not yet present, so you can add the things.